That would be a lie. Then why? She thought she could fix anything. You broke the law. Now she's the center of the biggest scandal of all time. You fell down on the job. You're not doing this. The only way. I think we could do it the impossible. Or we go down Well, this show is inspired by a real woman named Judy Smith, and she runs a crisis management firm in Washington, and she has worked with everybody from Monica Lewinsky to Michael Vick. So she's really, you know, her work spans the spectrum because lots of different kinds of people find themselves in crisis situations. Yes. The goal is different all the time. The goal could be to keep somebody out of prison. The goal could be to make sure the newspapers don't find out. The goal could be to settle. The goal could be to get somebody their job back, their, to, to repair somebody's reputation. It's always every particular fire requires a different solution to yeah. put it out. It's really fun for me to play Olivia Pope. I mean, one of the things that drew me to this character is that very contradiction that I think a lot of modern women can relate to, that you could have one area of your life that you've totally figured out, you know, in your professional life, that she's smart and sophisticated and powerful, she's totally got it together, but then in her personal life, she's confused and vulnerable and torn in lots of different directions, I think. That's something that a lot of people can relate to. When you watch the first episode, by the end of the season, nobody is who you think they are. Mm. People all have their own secrets, and even the people who work at Pope & Associates, we all have our own personal experience with scandals. So that's part of why when somebody walks into the office on the worst day of their lives, we all have a level of compassion because we've been there. We know what it's like to be in a crisis situation.